Alright, this is J Dragon, and I'd like to welcome you to Dragon Den. And this is one of the um, openings that I've been looking really forward to. And we don't do too many openings on this YouTube channel, so we do do some, but we don't do a whole lot. Usually we like painting, drawing, sketching, whatever we can do in the moment. Um, I know this ain't shoes or anything like that, but I've been looking really forward to it. When I ordered this uh, box over six months ago, if not longer, and the fact that it cost over $100, and yes, I do got paint on my fingers. I was mixing some up, so please excuse me on that. Um, this has got alcohol markers and all this other stuff, and I've been trying to uh, improve my sketching and stuff like that. I'm gonna see what we can uh, get from it. We're gonna look at the um, stuff and see what we can get out of it. What we're gonna do is start opening and check everything out that we can get out of it. All right. What we got here is the markers themselves. In its own box. Look at it. We got all 26 of them. Technically, there's 24 markers in here and two cases that will hold your markers. That's why it says 26. And yes, these are pretty nice looking markers. I really like them. I even got some uh, other ones before this came out. And because this was the second round that he made, and I just went ahead for it because I missed the first one he made and the second kit he made but I really weren't into that one because it had mostly clay makes I really like just drawing and getting into it with markers and stuff and you know we do marker testing and this is one of my favorite things to do sometimes alright now let's see we gotta get this open and look at the markers and We'll bring them out and we'll have the uh, things. Now we got the uh, color coordinations of all of them. And got the case things that they come up into. See, I got similar ones to this. This looks a little bit smaller than the ones that I have. As you can see, it's got a, a thin tip and it's got a brush nib, which is really good. And I'm talking about the case things. The ones that I have are a little bit bigger looking, but you buy those separate. So, put that there. And I'm going to put that one there and stack it on top. Supposed to come that way. Then, in another uh, video, uh, this is just going to be an opening, looking at the stuff and talking about the stuff that I like as I'm opening it. And that's just all we're going to do for now. Um, then, later on, I'm going to do another video, sketching up something, and we'll do that. Just sit right there and say how I like it. Alright, this is the... Um, paper the alcohol paper um professional paper whichever way you want to say it this i can't wait to use i got a bunch of other ones that i haven't used yet and i still need to work on so yeah we're gonna see what we can get out of that and here's the um prints that came with the uh thing and these are some pretty nice prints some nice drawings a whole bunch of nice drawings Alright, um, yes, I was talking about the, uh, prints, and I really haven't opened them to see all of them, but I might end up, um, sketching some, or doing some extra stuff of them, or who knows. 
would make good for a print or something to sit right there draw and sketch in at some time I never seen that one that one's new be nice some nice thick paper it's not like thin almost as thick as on a poster board that's what I like I like my um paper to be like that but it's very rare to find paper that is just like this but works well with alcohol markers for me so I am impressed with this so far that's one of the ones I always wanted to see I like drawing dragons you know that's what we do and while we draw Dragon Ball Z characters whichever find that dragon picture and put it up there at the front Uh, it ain't gonna happen right now. Put it to the side and head on to the next one. Now, what are we gonna start with? We are gonna look at the colored pencils that are in here. This is the second type of one that I got with a case. Um, I usually don't get the high expensive ones all that much because they're. I'm cheap I guess you could say or whatever but I have gotten some I try to keep it down low and put it with the markers so that I can sit right there and enhance it but the better your um markers are that you use I mean, the better the pencil color pencils are that you use the better the um artwork will work and I've been looking forward to seeing this and getting these out there's a little crack on the end of that I don't think that's that's probably the paint tip being dried out looks nice I've also got some other expensive color pencils I would like to test these up against at some time and we'll get an eraser which already got a little marks from the um, pencils back here and now if I can get these out these are sketch pencils. You get two of them in it. They're not sharpened. They look nice. You got an H B and a two B. I don't know much for um ways of pencil. I always use the number two pencil and or lead pencils and just sit right there and sketched up the picture and did it that way for myself so it's nice I've only started like with a this little kit thing that I got right now I've been started with the uh, these uh, it's got a pencil it's got a, a sketch it's got um, the rest of this which is um I can't think of the name right now but I know it's just basically the same stuff that goes in the um, pencil it works very well I haven't tried it much but we're gonna have it in the video thing for some other time to basically mess with now this is one of the things that I'm really impressed with because these are some nice um, liner pencils markers I meant liner pens liner pens 
and that is some of the things I need here's the brush one and that's the thing should I got a brush one right here well notice it's thin tip red pen thought it was my uh, brush one that I have over here yes here it is this is a little bit different tip from this one this one looks like it's much more pointier and has a much better tip I would say from the way it looks see this one looks like a little harder this one might have a little more yeah this one's got a little bit more give compared to the other one I'm liking that it's supposed to be a brush nib. This is it's a little bit harder than it should be. We got other ones that do like that. This one is a little bit different. I got this from the idea of Jazz um, one time in his video talking about it. So this is one of the pins I got from his idea and went ahead and bought it. I got two of them. And I got a third one. And these are all supposed to be brush ones and really good ones. They do the same thing as a brush nib. Here's a thick one, which does come in handy. Or if you wanted to make the lines thicker, then getting a little thinner. Because it's got the tips right there. And it's getting finer every time you go down going to a zero point zero five which is really good Oops. These are some of the other ones that I would use. Micron. Now, where are the rest of them at? Hmm. Now, I got some Copics pins around here somewhere where I put them at. I don't know. But I will find them and show them off. Yes. I've also got the Windsor Newtons. I got them in my case right here. I got the um, Copics or Copics, whichever one you want to call it. Now I keep them in this tin because I keep them put up until I need them almost forgot where I got them at but I've been wanting to test these out I got four of them see already starting to get a little rust or something on them from the tin or something I'll clean them off later When I could tell, these pins are every bit as good as those. From what I've been showed or seen. So, this is just an opening video. I'm just going to sit right there and talk about the stuff we got. And, i see you in the next one. If you like this video, give me a like, thumbs up, and all that stuff at YouTube. Because all we do on this one, we do stuff for um, fixing up shoes. We do custom works. We do artwork. We do whatever we do in the moment but in this video this just really amped up about this I may not act like it but I really enjoy this um, type of stuff because the paper the pencils the um, other stuff in here and comparing it to the stuff that I use I just
just want to see if my stuff can hold up to it and make stuff look good and as you know that's what we got and y'all can give it a thumbs up if you like the content if you like the video I appreciate it but I appreciate it because I finally got one of his stuff and it took over six months to get it here and I'm so happy for it getting here and I can't wait to really get a chance to do this it's my day off and I'm gonna sit right there and sketch up a vi picture not too long and I'm gonna hit it off and appreciate you for watching and do hit the thumbs up and like and subscribe and I thank you for watching